Silver, this is Cassandra Dinot and Emily Pelletier. Today, we were going to show you how we make Dover Daily so enjoyable for all of your students and teachers. It isn't easy producing the Dover Daily. It takes time, dedication, and teamwork. For our announcers, their public speaking skills are challenged and their creativity is released. And as for our producers, they put a lot of time and effort into making sure that everything is taken care of, such as the announcements are on time, pictures and videos are taken, and making sure the video is edited on time, which is one of the hardest jobs. Now, let's go to our behind the scenes footage that we filmed over the past couple of weeks that show you exactly how we are able to put the Dover Daily together successfully. uploading the images into the media drive and then that's how we input them live mm -hmm. during filming. Nick, what are you doing right now? Telling me. Spectating. No, you're telling me what one's to <laughs> Mr. Zangerly, what is your role in the Dover Daily? Stay out of the way. <laughs> Hi, Julie! <laughs> Censor, 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 censor. Wicked, 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 wicked. I got into the University of Hartford. The one in Connecticut. Not Harvard. Thanks, guys. Three, two. This is just a wild shot. Did you go like this? Can they shut up? <laughs> Guys, they're recording! They're yelling! <laughs> well, you could have told us. Oh, we yeah. oh, yeah. oh, wow. oh, told you. Wow! <laughs> I've got glass right here. Calm yourself. <laughs> Good morning. This is Danny Zuko. And I'm an avocado. On Monday, October 31st. No, 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 I can be that. I can be that. Not laugh. Danny's cooking. Okay. Okay. You gotta have a name. <laughs> Mar <laughs> Elliot, come, Marlita. <laughs> Do you say hi? I'm okay, Marlika, you, you are say good morning, Dover. This, this is Marlika Elliott. Okay, so we color coordinated for you. Do you want to read off of this? You can start off that. Okay. Yeah, go we for need it. to change the stuff. Yeah. You know. We say good morning. Hey, Emily Pelletier. Wednesday, October 26th. Today is an A day. The SAT word of the day is censor. Censor. <laughs> the SAT word of the day is censor, meaning to find fault with or to blame. Is it censor or censor? I don't think it's censor. It might be censor. What was your original view on the Dover Daily and how has it changed? Originally it was just going to be videotaped announcements. So the same announcements that used to be over the loudspeaker, we were just going to have kids say them and be filmed. But they incorporated different backgrounds, students decided to come up with different um, sign-offs and sign-ons, and I think the students really made it into something a lot more creative. What are they doing? Behind? So you can set this up again while they're coming out. Can we put a little Barbie on here behind me? Who has a Barbie? Does anybody have a Barbie? I do. We can put on the Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Come on, Alright, roll. I 
three, two, one. Bon matin, Dover. That was Good Morning in French. This is Matthias Martin. And Stephanie Massetta. On Tuesday, November 29th. Today is an A day. As an asinine. Taylor, what is the SAT word of the day? Well, the SAT word of the day, Stephanie, is accommodate, meaning to give consideration to. Don't forget to buy your lanyards from Miss Wolf. They're great for holding your jugs. Let's talk about portable chargers. And a happy birthday. <laughs> Welcome back, Dover. It's a new year, and your new announcers are... Nick Morris and Leah Adams on Tuesday, January 3rd. With New Year comes New Resolutions. Let's hear from a few of our very own Dover students. Behind the scenes of Dover Daily. Oh my god! So, Mr. Sangerly, what was your original view on Dover Daily before it started, and how has it changed to now? Well, originally I thought the Dover Daily would be kind of like a video version of the announcements. And, and that's kind of what it was. Um, and it's something we were able to do really from the very beginning. Um, even in the very first episodes where we were kind of working in this small space and shooting the announcements and putting pictures in later on. And Dalton and Lindsay kind of learned really quickly um, how to edit that and get some of that going. But we were doing everything kind of after the fact. So... <clears throat> we would shoot all the video and then put all the pictures in later on and Dalton was spending hours and hours and hours editing it um, And we kind of realized pretty quickly That that wasn't sustainable in other words if this was something we wanted to do forever We couldn't bank on every year having uh, somebody as awesome as Dalton and a bunch of others of you guys who are Willing to put hours in on your free time and all that um, To get it finished that just wasn't really plausible and then as we kind of kept working We thought maybe we want to make more of a class out of it and if it was going to become a class, then it needed to be much more specific and much more controlled and much more um, deliberate in kind of how things are happening. And that's when a lot of the kind of equipment upgrades came and things like that. So now we can film everything live, multiple cameras, graphics, everything inserted in real time. So it's almost like a live to tape uh, filming. So that when we're editing, what we're doing is cutting out the parts where some people mess up and giggle a lot. <laughs> what is it like? Editing for Dover Daily. Uh, I'll tell you how it is. It's a slight pain, pain in the butt. You gotta call, like listen to Dalton, listen to Clockio. You gotta do so much work for multiple hours. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What about you, Dalton? Well, um, in the beginning, the editing took two hours to do, like all of seventh period and eighth period for me, and we've reduced the time down to about a half hour for the editing and then twenty minutes for pictures. You've been a part of the Dover Daily for a couple days now. What are your opinions on it? Um, I think it's very interesting. It's unique. It's nothing that Dover has ever offered in the past. I am a producer and I basically get all the media, all the pictures and videos that we show in the announcements and I interview people and things like that. How do you feel about being the new announcer for Dover Daily? Um, I feel kind of excited and a little bit thrilled, but I'm very teeny tiny bit nervous. But hopefully I do a great job, so see you soon. How do you feel about being the new announcer for Dover Daily? I'm very excited and I'm excited to improve my public speaking skills. However, I'm a little nervous, but I feel like I'll do fine. Producing, editing, filming, and announcing the Dover Daily is a work in progress. It takes team effort from the entire crew and even some help from former crew members and teachers to accomplish all of this. Preparing the Dover Daily takes up our two free periods and then some editing and perfecting the show. Dover students are dedicated to making the announcements enjoyable in a different way rather than just saying them over the loudspeaker. By doing it this way, we're able to engage the Dover students and the community as well. Now, when all is finished, it is time to enjoy and relax.
does this feel, Miles? It feels nice. Does it feel like sophomore year again? Three, two, one. And on that. Three, two. And on that note. Three, two. Say it on that note. Nick says that. Three. And on that note, have, have a, a wicked Wednesday, Dover. Have, have a great day, Dover. Have a great day, Dover. Have, have a great, great day, Dover. Dover. Have a great day, Dover. And for the last time, have, have a, a great, great day, Dover. Dover. And on that note, have an exceptional, exceptional day, Dover. Dover. Have a great day, Dover. Bye, Shandover. Goodbye!